Hello AP students, this is Mr. Becker here to talk about the blood vessels of the lower limb. And so uh, last we left off uh, with the aorta, we were up in the thoracic portion. When we pass through the aortal hiatus here, uh, we then become the abdominal aorta through here. And, and as we can see, we do have a set of vessels that come off of the abdominal aorta. Um, the center line ones are part of the GI tract and the ones that are found on the lateral sides of the aorta are part of the urogenital tract. And so we'll talk about those specifically when we get to their specific systems. At the end of the abdominal aorta, however, we can see we have a primary branch point that's going to lead to our lower limbs. Uh, this branch forms the common iliac arteries. So we have the left common iliac and the right common iliac. You can see that the ureter of the kidney goes over the common iliacs and then down into uh, the pelvis region down through here. Uh, the common iliacs uh, are going to branch to form an external iliac and an internal iliac. The external iliac is going to head out this way, out the limb, and the internal iliac is this blood vessel back in here, and this is going to branch off, and most of its branches are feeding into internal organs found inside of the pelvis, uh, the end of the rectum, uh, reproductive organs, things along those lines. Uh, the one that we're most interested in, though, is the external iliac, shown right here. And as we pass out of the inguinal ligament here, we go from being external iliac to being the femoral artery and vein uh, going, moving down the leg. And so from here, I'm going to transfer over to our leg video.